Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create perfect eighth note guitar parts in Reaper. I have a project set up here, and I want to record an eighth note guitar part. But I don't want to play it as a performance. I want to cut it up and make it perfect. And I've already created a kick track and some snaps. And I've already plugged in my guitar, but I'm going to record it directly. This way we can change the sound afterwards and try out a bunch of different options. Now, even though it's going to be eighth notes, I'm not going to record an eighth note part. I just need one note from each chord I'm going to play. So I'm just going to play this. With the last note being the only note we need, just to make sure the attack and the length of the note is right. So let's record those notes. So in this situation, we only need this note, this note, this note, and this note. And we're going to duplicate it to create an eighth note part. So let's take our track out of record and let's cut up our performance. We'll zoom in to this first note and I want to leave a bit of space before the attack to keep some air before the note. So I'm going to click right here and type S to split it, then delete this piece, zoom out, and split it here. Go to the second note and split it here, delete this, and just do this for each note. Split it, split it here, and delete it. And now we have just the four notes we need. So let's line up the timing of each note at the beginning of each bar. Let's select them all by double clicking the track and drag them over, but we can't snap them to the grid because as you remember, we left a bit of air at the beginning. So the notes are gonna be late. So let's select each one and to disable snapping, hold down the shift key and drag it over so the attack is right on the grid. And do this for each note. Select it, hold down shift, and drag it over to line it up with our grid. Do the same with the third note, line it up, and the fourth note. So if we listen back, it's gonna sound like this. So now we need to adjust the length of each note. So let's double click the track again to select all of them, then double click any one of the items. That opens up the media item properties for all of them. Let's change the length based on beats to be zero measures, zero beats, and 50. So it's going to be half a beat or half a quarter note or an eighth note. Hit OK. Now the length of the notes are all perfectly an eighth note long. So now we need to duplicate them a bunch of times. We'll go to the edit menu and choose nudge set items. And then we'll change this to nudge, duplicate, change this to measures and beats. And again, make it zero measures, zero beats, dot 50. So it's half a beat or half a quarter note or an eighth note. Then over by copies, we'll change this to seven because we want to make seven copies or duplicates to have eight in the end. Choose nudge right. And that creates all those duplicates to make a perfect eighth note part, which sounds like this. Now 
Now, sometimes the edits won't be perfect. So what I like to do is select one chord at a time and zoom in and hold down shift and readjust the edit so that it crosses at a zero point like this. Do the same with each chord. And now let's hear that. And now let's add a guitar plugin on this track. Go to our effects and let's search amp. Now you can use any plugin you want. I'm going to choose this one, Convolution Amp Cab Modeler, because it comes with Reaper. We can choose our presets right here for different modelings of our amps. Let's hear this one. Let's try a few. Notice how different the sound could be even after we recorded and edited the part. But I'm kind of liking the first one. Now to complete the sound, let's add a few more other effects. I'm going to right click this button and go to an effects chain I saved called Guitar Effects. And what this does is it starts out with a channel time delayer, which delays the right channel by 25 milliseconds, creating a doubling effect. Let's hear that. Kind of sounds like two guitars. Then let's add a delay, which has a 16th note to the part. We'll keep that very subtle. And then finally, a reverb. Sounded pretty good. And like I said, we can still change the sound of the amp. Let's try a different one. I'm going to try this free one called Blue Cats Free Amp. Notice how different we can make the sound. But I'm kind of preferring this first one. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create perfect eighth note guitar parts in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.